Hey guys, I'm here with Kuala Makan, Kuala Designer. going to be doing on dealing on Figma plugin. Uh, this is actually my first uh, YouTube video so expect it to be a little jiggy uh, but once we get to it I think I will flow with you guys and get to know you better. So without further ado let's dive into it. Now um, we're going to be dealing on some Figma plugins as you can see on the screen. We have 10 about 10 figma plugins that we are going to use to start now starting with these figma plugins means that we're going to be taking maybe three or four per series so it will be shorter and we understand it better and this is for people that i will be exposing some of the figma plugins that i use in my work makes work faster and easier now so the first one is auto flu uh, auto flow is very nice. I won't give you, I won't bore you with much of the details. So I will just create a new page. Name it auto flow. Now auto flow is basically for drawing flows. So you know how you find it difficult to get flows. Uh, you want to get flows to draw flows for your next project, for your big project, and let's say. If it's difficult for me. So let's put something like a flow. Let me quickly show you. So let's say on bottom. So for your onboarding, you can have something like this. Meanwhile, this is after you've thought, thought about your project. So you can have Uh, but let's say you have the volume, you can have the home screen. So, now I'm going to just for, for emphasis, I'm going to just do about three or four flows so that I link them to see how the flow works. So, um, Without proper organization, I would just say, uh, let's say check out. Uh, let's say, let's say, no doubt. Now, for you to use auto flow. You have to, you have to use. Uh, if you have, if you open your plugin, it should already be, be installed. So if you want to download the plugin, just go to plugins, go to manage plugins. Then when you lose up. This will take a while depending on your network. Now you see that I have my installed plugins and these because uh, part of the, my, my profile is set up differently. But when you go to, for me, I can see my plugins here. I went to community, uh, went to plugins, which is Quite Maybe in the next video, I'll show you a regular screen, uh, a regular profile, how to download your plugin. But if you are in the Figma community, uh, that would be that's, that's a lot of good. So when you have the plugins, uh, you can search for any plugins uh, you have, which I will really not that you want. Or you can also continue viewing the plugins that are here to get. To any particular plugin, so there are tons of plugins, and you can also know the best one from their downloads. These icons are their downloads, and also you can be referred to from your friend 
or any of the plugins that we talked about in this uh, our series. So um, now I have these plugins installed already. So I will click on auto flow. Then how auto flow works is once you click on the two links that you want to, you hold shift uh, and click on this. When you click on the first one, and make sure, wait, let me show you guys. Make sure the one you're clicking is the one you want it to link to. Once you click it, it links it. Now when you click on this and this, it links it. Now if you notice the the arrows are on the second uh, board that you clicked on but if you click on on this first and click on this it links it back so this is actually where it comes to that you have to be sure which board leads to what which action leads to what, what action so it will be easier for you to click to uh, link so that's actually for auto flow uh, we will be discussing for the second part blog. So let's create another page for blog. Now you, you may see uh, before we get to the let us create uh, let's say a desktop a default shape of let's say we have, we have a logo. Yeah, uh, I don't have right there. So let's say you have something like this. And you want to create such shapes that look weird, they are looking uh, non symmetrical. So you can just go to your blobs, you can select the complexity. This is actually a very nice program, I love to use it a lot. So you can select the complexity, you can make blob, and change the contrast, it's more circular, you can increase it. Small. So you can see how it looks. So you can change your blog to anything. Meanwhile, make sure that if you notice these are outside the frame. So make sure you drag it back inside. So you can change it to any color you want. I actually change it, change the shape to as you like so you can use it to draw the stars uh, on the, sp uh, the spongebob series so actually you can change the colors of this and use it for your designs so this this actually brings out brings life to designs it actually helps to make the design look awesome so this is actually my second best problem so let's uh, pick another one, uh, brand fetch. Now let's create a page. Brand fetch. Now this brand fetch does something. Now sometimes that like, you, you you feel that oh I want to get the logo of this particular uh, site, but I don't know how to get the logo. The logos are not coming out well. Don't worry, this plugin is going to cover. So, for brand fetch, when you open a brand fetch, you want to fetch the brand that's the icon of the brand. Now, if you don't open it, you can search for a website, let's say BBC, for example. So, now we have to get access to that. So, let me quickly get that. I'm already doing this stuff earlier. Now, let me get access. So, 
so this is my SS token. So once this this uh, does it get very pathway for me. Now look at my token. So I can now go back to my Figma and add my access token to get access to the brand fetch. Now actually you can't fetch the brand like this. So you have to use the URL of the brand. So let's say something like bbc.com. So you can actually fetch the logos, and fetch the colors of the site, and you can fetch the fonts of the site. Isn't that awesome? Uh, let's try, let's try. The website should be used to fetch, uh, let's say, okay. let's say hotels of NG. <coughs> so we quickly copy this. And let's fetch the logo. Or let's fetch the brand. So it fetch both the images, the sides, the fonts of the sides, the color palettes of the sides. So when we click on add, it adds the logo to our site. Click on this as color palette to our site. So you copy, you can copy, and paste the color here. So these are the colors for the side. Then you can use. They are using that. So basically, you can try this out. You can show show me your feedback, and don't forget to like. So, uh, subscribe and also share this video to your friends now that's for this problem so when uh, in the next series we're going to be dealing with the remaining, uh, the remaining Figma plugins the chart how to create the chart how to use content body actually that's a fun plugin and you love it I'm sure you do and also how to use Figmoji Iconify image palettes, notifies, and material icons. We can choose to extend it. If there's any Figma plugin that you would like us to discuss in this series, you can bring it up, um, or any Figma plugin that you're finding it hard to use. Let's bring it up and we'll discuss it. Uh, thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.